Hi, I'm Rob Harrison from Long Haired Music and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on my uh, Wurlitzer organ which I'm listing on eBay right now. I'm going to start by showing you the how to turn it on. It's very simple, it's not a, uh, a valve organ, it's a, uh, it's a very early solid state transistor organ. Um, and the on switch is just in the corner here. Simply flick it and that powers up the organ. You can hear down below uh, me in the left hand corner the um, rotary speaker, uh, very similar to a Leslie. Uh, that's called the Spectratone and there are two different speeds for it. There's uh, Theatre which is fast I believe and uh, Cathedral which is slow. So just flicking this uh, switch here slows down to cathedral speed. But we'll go back up to the high speed for the, uh, for the theatre. Um, all of the stops for the uh, upper manual, this manual, um, are at the top here. There are a couple of uh, presets here. Um, if you hit C, that turns all of the stops off. Um, I've got preset 1, which brings in some of the stops and preset 2 which brings in some more of the stops and if I just hit C again um, we can go back and push the stops in manually flip them out like so solo stops here just make the uh, the pipes a little bit louder so you can uh, increase the low end there or increase the top end for the clarinet um, some accents some other things Now that lingering sound that you can hear is the upper sustain. That's controlled on this left side here. Uh, you've got on, off, um, long, short, m oh sorry, that's medium, short uh, and long. And at the moment I've got both medium and long in. Um, you can do that. Um, but if we turn the upper sustain off, it's a nice short um, release on the on the upper manual, um, and on the lower manual, the sounds for the lower manual are controlled from up here on the right hand side. Um, I can turn them all off by hitting the, again the presets. The C there turns all of the stops off, and you get no sound at all. And I've got preset one which pushes in some of the stops, and I've got preset two, which pushes in some more of the stops. Makes it a lot louder. Um, now we've got controls here for the lower manual, that's on full at the moment. If I hit normal, it reduces the uh, lower manual volume. Um, we've also got solos here for the eight foot and uh, five and a third foot. Uh, adjustments there um, for the different types of pipes uh, which you can turn on. Obviously it's not really pipes in an electric organ. Um, we've got some controls over the left sa side here which control the, the foot pedals. Now I've got a full octave of pedals in front of me here from, from by the looks of it, C to C. Um, and uh, there are some controls here for those. We have uh, pedal volume, which you can just uh, increase. I, I think you can leave them both down. But uh, you can raise and lower the volume there in comparison to the rest of the organ. Um, we also have the um, different types of pipes. You've got an uh, 8 foot by the looks of it and 16 foot 
different types of, uh, of sounds there that you can you can hit in. Um, we've got pedal sustain, and you can choose between two different sustain settings. So if I just hit some on. Uh, you can see that working. Um, the spectrotone. Now the spectrotone is very similar to a, uh, a Leslie on a Hammond organ. It's a rotating speaker that's spinning round except in this case it's inside the Wurlitzer organ. Um, I can hear it spinning down on my left there. And there's several different settings uh, for the spectrotone. Um, which are down here, just on the upper manual. Um, you can choose which manual you want to send to the Spectratone. At the moment, I've got the top manual sent there. Um, you've also got this thing called Spectratone Chorus, and basically that um, sends it to both the main speakers and the rotary speakers, at least I think that's what it does. It seems to make it slightly louder. Um, and we also have the speed, which is this one here. So at the moment I've got the top manual going to the Spectratone. I'll play a little bit for you. Now if I take it back to the normal speakers, you can hear how much of a difference that makes. Um, now if I flick it back onto the spectrotone, now try the chorus, it's kind of going through both speakers there I think. Uh, so that's what that does and then of course you can change the speed. So that's still going through the um, uh, going through the spectra tone there. Uh, if I turn it off, it sounds like this again. A lot brighter, a lot brighter sound, um, but it does sound loads better with the going through the rotary speaker. And obviously during your performance, you can just reach over and hit the speed, and it will slowly speed up to. Uh, was on originally. Um, you can send both the lower it's just uh, pushing a few more stops there. So you can send both the lower and the upper um, manual to the spectra tone. Um, I like to keep the, the upper one on there and the lower one off, and then it gives you a nice wide sound. Um, there's a few different settings up here as well. There's, um, there's a reverb, which I've never been able to get to work, uh, but I, I know that there's a spring under under the, um, uh, the lower manual there somewhere. There's a reverb spring, um, so it probably doesn't need too much work to get it going. Um, these switches, um, they are very, very old switches. This is a really old um, electric organ, and um, they tend to get bits, dust, gunk uh, stuck inside them. Uh, so a lot of the things I've done to get different parts of the organ working um, was simply a case of cleaning out these switches, which are quite open to the dust getting in and around them. Um, everything that I fixed since I got the organ I've not needed to go over again. I think it's just a case of years and years worth of dirt and, and grub. So um, what I'd recommend is um, you can actually take the organ to pieces. This top section piece of wood comes off. This whole uh, manual rises up. 
this rises up and you can get inside all of the switches and just get a piece of, uh, of fine wet and dry sandpaper um, and just scrub the contacts on, the, on those switches to clean off the, uh, the rubbish and, and give them a good electrical contact. You could use switch cleaner as well, I don't like using it myself but you know that's, that's also a really good way of getting them going. Um, and uh, I suspect that's, that's probably what's wrong with the reverb section there. I've also never been able to get this vibrato um, working um, and I suspect that that's a similar thing that this section here has, has got a fault or there's a, there's a contact which isn't connecting on this section um, but it's really it's, it's not that difficult at all they're, they're really open switches and you can just get a piece of sandpaper in between them and scrub up and down uh, and that normally does the trick um, okay so the other feature that this organ has in fact it's got a big brass plate here that says in fancy letters Multimatic Percussion by Wurlitzer. And what is Multimatic Percussion? Well, the easiest thing for me to do is to turn off all the stops on the lower manual um, and show you. Um, basically, as you can see, I can press any key and I get a, a, a snare drum type, uh, type sound on the attack of every key. However, if I push in the lower manual again I can also play it as usual and the top manual has a similar thing so that allows you to do quite interesting percussive um, rhythm sections while you're playing now there's a lot of controls over here these are all the grey ones that control the boom. Um, so we've got uh, percussion volume, uh, there's a repeater here which I can't get going at the moment but I've had going in the past, I can't remember how you, uh, how you get it running. Um, there's uh, the different types of, of sounds, oh this is pedal, so these, these control the pedals and, and if I turn that off now I have a kick drum sound being played on the pedal, bass drum. Um, and now I've got a cymbal sound being played on the bass drum so if I turn that off there we go I've got my kick drum um, and um, down here yes this is this tells you which manual you want uh, them to appear on um, so we've got our cymbal appearing on both the upper and the lower manual although I don't think it's a cymbal really, it sounds more like a snare drum to me. Um, and you've got a volume here, and then there's other things down here. There's a, 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 a bongo and other percussion that you can turn on. Um, and I'll show you briefly just what kind of thing that does. Um, so here we go. So there we go, I've got a kick drum on my foot pedals there. Uh, I might just put in a, um, an eight foot uh, flute as well. So now I can play a rhythm section while I'm playing the, um, the melody on the organ. So as you can see, you can do some quite interesting things with the Multimatic percussion. One last thing. Obviously I have my volume pedal, which I can rock backwards and forwards to adjust the volume of the organ. I'll just turn the shaboom off. Um, there's another thing I found though after I'd bought it. If I 
play a chord and then rock my foot to the left. I have this unusual kind of tremolo sound that I can um, that I can bring in. So that's simply by taking my foot and moving it sideways. I can pitch shift the organ down for some quite unusual effects, uh, which is quite cool. It's a very interesting thing uh, to have. And um, it also goes to show that this organ um, is controlled by one single oscillator. Um, the pitch of the organ is controlled by that lever down inside uh, that I control with my foot. So the organ can be tuned uh, by getting to that oscillator and making an adjustment. And there must be a tuning control somewhere inside. Um, I've found that the, the organ's perfectly in tune with itself um, at all times. Um, it's slightly flat in comparison to a piano. Um, however, like I say, um, it has the pitch shift control inside it. Um, there must be a way of adjusting that uh, for tuning. Um, it's just that I've not had the need to get inside it and have a look at it yet. Um, so that's quite an interesting thing. And, um, you know, if, if, the, if the buyer was wanting to play the organ um, with other instruments, with pianos or something that can't be easily tuned, uh, then they might want to take off the, uh, the back or take off the front here and just have a look around and try and find that tuning uh, adjustment um, and then you could probably use a, a simple guitar tuner uh, to tune uh, the whole instrument. One note would tune the entire instrument from top to bottom. I haven't done that myself but I think it's perfectly plausible um, and it wouldn't surprise me if there was an adjustment either inside the instrument or s somewhere outside that I haven't found yet. Um, so that would be well worth checking out for um, a buyer.